What I want to show you now is a development of that uh, which you may well have read about. I'm not sure whether James Bond used one, but certainly it's one of the favorite weapons in current espionage stories. And that is the, what we call the laser eavesdropper, a device by which it is possible, under good conditions, to hear what is going on in a room when you've not been able to put a microphone inside it. Or, and so you've got to work entirely from outside. And this diagram will give you an idea of what it is. There we have a laser pointing in the direction of that little house. And it goes through the window. You can work off the window, but it's better to go inside. And here is a picture frame. And much exaggerated, the picture frame will vibrate like that in sympathy with any vibrations that fall on it from people talking in the room. If you can pick up a reflection off the glass of the picture frame, as it bends like that, it will move the beam coming back. And we now have an optical lever equal in length from there right across to there. And it will swing about. It's a tiny amount, of course, uh, less than a micron, certainly, here, uh, from one photo cell to the other. And that will generate currents of the same frequency as the vibration in the picture frame. And so now, if we switch on the, we, we pretend um, here that there's a radio going in the house, and we will listen to Now, you'll just be able to, if you're near, to hear this, but we'll, now. OK. Yes. Actually, I think we're listening to New Zealand. And that, all that sound is coming along the, the beam of light. <laughs> Must let him do that bit again, mustn't we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> 